I recently learned about this function in Python. Let's say our intern was given a list of three integers, and he was assigned the task of creating all possible lock combinations using these numbers. Each combination needed to be unique and could not repeat the same integer twice. At first, the intern thought of using nested list comprehensions to generate all unique combinations. When he ran the program, he successfully got all possible outcomes of three numbers for the lock pattern. However, this approach has a problem. As the number of pattern in the lock increases, the nested loops in the list comprehension will also increase, making the code harder to read, write, and maintain. So the better approach is to use the permutations function from the iter tools module. This function takes an iterable as input and generates all possible permutations of the elements. It also accepts an optional parameter, the length of each permutation. If no length is specified, it defaults to the length of the iterable. So if we pass three as the length, and convert the result into list. It will generate all unique combinations of three elements in a clean and concise way. 